Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiator, and this is a super quick video. Yes, it really is. Um, really to talk about one specific feature of the Roman Gladius, and that is this thing. Now, you might be saying, <laughs> why is he calling it a thing? Why isn't he calling it a guard? And that's what this video is about. So I saw a comment today, somewhere on Facebook, uh, where someone said, why has the Roman sword got such a rubbish guard? That's not going to protect your hands. It's made of wood. Why isn't it made of metal or something hard? Harder than wood anyway. Um, that's not going to protect your hands. You're going to lose your fingers. Well, quite simply, as hopefully by now anyone watching this channel will know, that isn't really a guard. Okay, We call it a guard because what else do we call it? A, a bolster? A ferrule? I don't know. But it's not really a hand guard. Just look at the thing. Okay, That's not there to protect your um, hand from other weapons, but we could call it a, a, a hand guard in the sense that it is there to prevent your hand from coming off the sword, sliding up onto the blade, all of this kind of stuff. So when you look at a Roman sword and think of that as a guard, do not think of it as a guard like we might get on a uh, later medieval sword or a you know, Renaissance era sword, even perhaps a, a late um, sort of Anglo-Saxon Frankish Viking era sword, a kind of Dark Age period sword, when guards do start to get longer. But bear in mind that in the period that this was used, really, with the, a few rare exceptions like the Falcata or Copis, their swords didn't have hand guards. They didn't need them because they were used with a massive shield. And I'll be talking more about that topic and demonstrating some things in uh, videos coming quite soon, hopefully, uh, because I do have two Roman scutums on their way to me. So we're going to be having some fun with those in future videos. But just to really state and reiterate that this isn't a hand guard in the sense that later swords have hand guards. This is really just to keep your hand on the hilt, secure in the hilt, and prevent it from uh, any danger from your own blade. Um, your hand is protected by virtue of the large shield or scutum that you're used, using, and the way that you use the sword. You're not there fencing with it like you would do with a sabre, or even like you'd do with sword and buckler in later centuries. This is essentially a shank, it's a spike with an edge, it's a big knife, okay? Think of it like a, like a large kitchen knife or bowie knife uh, and it's used with a big shield. And the big shield is there to protect you and this is just there to be, to be doing stabbing and cutting, okay? That is all that that is there for. It is not a hand guard in the traditional sense. Thanks for watching. See you folks again for another video and give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't done already. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, folks.